Yeah, okay. So my name is Sampa Popoku, um, business lead from Fortex and then co-founder. So what, what we basically do is help financially. Sold it like a rock star. <laughs> oh. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay, so, uh, so what we basically do is help financial institutions um, take, deliver um, banking and financial services to consumers out of the traditional brick and mortar um, you know, settings. Our focus market is actually on Africa, where we have 325 million um, you know, um, of the adult population on bank. That's 80% of the um, um, adult population in Africa. I, I still can't get the slides working, so I just walk my way through it. Um, so, um, yeah, and then the irony about it is basically we have so many financial institutions in Africa, but we still have a large number of people at on bank in Africa. And then, you know, the, 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 the basic reason is because a large number of people actually work within the informal sector. And the, the, the kind of things they do do not allow them to actually go to the bank to bank. So traditionally, what financial institutions do in Africa is to actually take the banking um, services to the people, people on the field. They have agents on the field that goes out there to take money and then offer you know, loan services to these customers. And more recently, we have mobile money that came into the, into the settings. But none of these things are actually doing what it has to do. You know? So um, for instance, the um, agency um, banking um, um, sort of format is very manual. And there's a lot of fraud within, within the whole process. So and it takes financial institutions between six to probably eight months, sometimes more, to actually identify where the fraud actually happens. And mobile money is not really designed to actually do banking. It's more, more to do of um, a peer-to-peer -peer transfer and payment. So what we've done is to develop, um, um, you know, we've, we've basically integrated with, uh, in, into, into telcos, um, mobile network providers, and then we, we've built application that runs on USSD, Java, and both Android devices. And then we've connected that into core banking system. So everything that gets done in the bank branch can actually be um, done on the field by the field tellers or um, you know, third party agents. I had a video, I don't know if you can play the video, and that will probably give you an indication of some of the deployments we have. You know, that's like a minute video. Do you want to? Can we get a video? Uh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. So this, this is a typical. This, this, this are probably clients using our service on the field. So we have an agent going to a customer, taking the customer's money, using a Java, yeah, using the Java application or a Java phone to do that. You know, it gets sent back to the bank. Yeah, that's fine. So he just, you know, he get a text. This, this, this is an agent who wants to pay his loan. So he's loading money onto his, his phone through his mobile wallet and he sends the money to the bank. And we have these only banks being deployed across where I come from, Ghana. And these, this kiosk actually does banking on the field. So it's actually placed in key areas in the market. You know, so that's, that's um, you know, a teller actually taking money, counting that. He's using the devices. This is connected to the core banking system in the, in, in the bank. So he will take the customer's account number, do the transaction here. And instantly, the customer get a receipt and a text message to confirm the transaction they've done. There's two things that they get on the text message. So he's actually going to get the amount that he's deposited in the bank and a new balance on his account. So he really doesn't have to go to the bank to do any more banking. So in, in brief, there's more okay. to it than this, but that's what we do. Stop the video. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. Well done. Yeah.